Hi guys, happy Tuesday, June 30th, and we're just going to jump right in here to Luke 137, and this is one of those like really cool one-liners, I'm talking seriously. Luke 137, for with God, nothing will be impossible. It's like boom, you know, like microphone drop. But I just wanted to share that with you today. And when it says um, nothing is impossible with God, we understand God is love. God is the love, the ultimate love that is all around us and then in us. And we understand that love, loving ourselves is showing ourselves patience, kindness, gentleness, encouragement. You know, all the attributes that um, God is saying for us to share with others, we have to first share it with ourselves. And when we do that, our gifts and our talents begin to blossom because now we're giving ourselves, which is like the branch, right? And God's the root. So we're giving ourselves this good food, this encouragement this um, love, the way that God loves us. And then from the inside, these amazing abilities and talents and gifts are going to start to blossom. Whatever yours is, be encouraged because nothing is impossible with God. As you continue to walk in love, receiving God's love. And when I say receiving, I mean like really receiving it for yourself, receiving the love of God, the patience of God, the kindness, the overflow of goodness inside of you. What, what, when I think of that, I think of my insides just being so soft, comfortable, at peace. You know, the opposite being stress and tense and, and really bunched up inside because of the worries of situations. But when I think of love, I think of a softness, a peace, a gentleness, a room and a space where gifts and talents can begin to come up and blossom. And when that coming up happens, that's coming out. So it is on my heart to share this because I just have a sense that some of us are about to experience a new blossoming and it may not be new to you, but it's going to be new to the people around you because, amen, you are going to be in to let it out in the name of Jesus. So I just wanted to share this one liner and just encourage you along with the encouragement that you are already feeling. You're already feeling it from the inside out. And it is um, for with God, for with God nothing is impossible. And so I just want to, wanted to take that time. And I do have some particular people that are coming over in my mind that I am so excited for. And they have, I have not said anything to them, but there, to them, but there's some things that have been said, some words that have been put out there that I have picked up on. And praise God, there is going to be a newness in your life. Because you are receiving and you are allowing your beautiful, wonderful, amazing gifts and talents to begin to shine in a new way, in a next level type of way. Like you may have already had them and they may be working for you and have worked for you in the past, but a newness is coming and, and another level, a new chapter, um, the next level of you and, and what those gifts and talents are going to bring in the name of Jesus to, to allow you to shine, but to shine on others so that you can point them to that same love, freedom, hope, joy, peace, and patience and inner understanding that you have come to. You're going to be shining that on them so that they can do it. Amen. So this ripple effect can keep going in the name of Jesus. And this is what I believe Jesus was talking about when he was saying, when I leave, you're going to do so much more than I did in the name of Jesus, because we're going to continue the spirit, the unlimitedness of the spirit 
of God and Jesus and how Jesus walked. And we're going to continue that unconditional love, that unending love, that eternal love. So I just want to wanted to share that. And I want to say, have an amazing day today. And if you're on the other side of the world, you might just be waking up or you might just be going to sleep. So um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, um, stay encouraged and continue to go inside. Continue to go inside and um, continue to walk out your love through your gifts, your talents, and your fruit. And I'll pray us out in Jesus' name. So, God, we just thank you. We just come to you right now. I come to you, God, and um, I just have a sense, God, and I just and I just have heard and seen some words that have been written and said, God. And even though um, they were just one word here, one word there. There are people in the name of Jesus that are going to begin to see a newness, God. They have seen it already, possibly inside of them, but the people around them, God, are about to receive some goodness from certain individuals that are walking and they are being open to your love and your word in their heart. And from that is a softening and that soil is so good and that it is beginning to blossom these amazing talents and gifts that you have placed in us God and this is not for a a particular person I might be talking about a particular person or persons right now but this is for us all because we all come from you we are all on good soil while we continue to seek you out and continue to receive your love God so God, I just thank you for today. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for having patience with us that, um, you know, especially with me, sometimes it takes me a long time to learn things, God, but you are so patient with me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for just being there at all times with your embrace, with your loving arms open and wide and ready so that you can receive me and us and we can receive that comfort and regain the softness so that the talents can blossom and be set free. Thank you, God. Thank you for your love for us. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, guys.